Today is a huge day for the crypto market. What we are watching in front of us is massive. Regulation by enforcement is done. So the SEC and the scare is out. And not only that, this individual voted in favor. So maybe Ether is going to burst off. Maybe Bitcoin is going to burst off. Crypto market shows it's going to go up. And the euphoria in the stock market returns with the earnings in NVIDIA. That means the market is going higher. If you do get this tomorrow, that's going to be another leg up in the market. And you actually can see how the politicians are now trying to lean into the crypto market. That makes things interesting. For one piece on a short term, the market clearly tells you this. The breakout, the retest, most likely a bounce off. Welcome to the Sinovic Investor Family, where the normal retail guys get to learn how to become the next top 10 person of this world. Right now, when you look at the market, the top 100, you're watching some of these are running 25, 30 percent for this week and we're just getting started some of them are showing you a big breakthrough and from that first hundred when you jump to the next hundred it's now showing you 25 30 40 50 percent gain in just one week before the big pop begins so right now you are watching market is preparing itself for a burst off. Small caps will burst crazy. Large caps will give you decent gains. Position yourselves accordingly. You look at Ether, we understand that breakout was a big one. And it directly ran all the way to the level of resistance which we are testing right now which shows Ether breaking this range, say 3,800. Mm, that's going to be a big mark. The next is going to be the local high, which is 4,100. 4,100 in Ether is going to create a swing high. And the interesting part is that the momentum is in your favor. Remember, we talked about the Ranko chart before the range came in active. Now, zoom a little bit out. Three-day chart, still going up. Now, zoom a little bit out. That shows you it's going higher. Last time you bounced off, what was that? That was a decent rally from 3,000 all the way up to 4,500 as the second leg of the market. If you want the best ROI structure with the least risk, you go use Ranko. If you are okay with a little bit of risk, you take in Heikenashi. And Heikenashi shows you this. So it has not been wrong yet. When you are above the moving average and close in green, that's super bullish, especially when it's on a weekly on a three day you get to ride through that right now if you pick in any asset you want it is starting to show you positive signals in the market xrp here it is you're putting in lower high for sure but you're not making lower low so it's not trending down rather you have a pattern here which is symmetrical so if you break to the upside that's bullish. So now you have actually done that. What now? Yes, that's on a daily chart. I'll take you to the higher time frame structure. The argument here is like we need to see a 20% ride 
close to 0 0.62, 0 0.63 in XRP. Now, you move on to a 3D chart and you'd like to put the argument of, okay, what the hell can we really see? It shows you this is the pattern. You need to break through this. But if that micro did show you a possible 20% move, now we come back to this resistance. That won't look good unless you break that to the upside. Because if you do break this to the upside, then XRP joins the party with everything else in the crypto market going through this cycle. And when I say this cycle, this cycle looks a lot like the last cycle. The market is kind of rhyming itself or closer to what you can easily understand as a repetition in this market. So if you're entering that euphoric phase now, this is where you decide which direction you're going. High risk, low risk, large cap, small cap, payments, smart contracts, you name it. You have a lot of different areas to position yourself. Depending on which area you go, you are now watching different trend. Say you compare Cardano, you compare Palkadot, you compare a VAX with payments like XRP, XLM, whichever you want, XDC, Quant. You see a little bit of difference here. And this is actually positive. You're waiting for a micro breakout and as soon as that micro breakout enter, that's the key, the signal where you start running into those assets. But the trouble here is they are large cap assets. The biggest ROI will be in a segment which is small to medium cap. So you don't want to go micro. Fine, that's okay. They DAG, constellation. It's been there for a long time. The project is sound. It's still there. And you look at the price action. What do you see here? It's interesting, right? So when these things turn into that interesting phase, not a lot of people care much about it. Until there is a euphoria, until there is a 10x move already in the price action, then everyone is interested in buying. But that's not the optimum time to buy. You had the micro move here, the one, the two, the three, then you went on to make a negative divergence. That was not the time to buy. Now you're making a pattern, broadening wedge. So we have seen similar cases in the market. Last time it was a double top like this, a negative divergence, the same, you dropped nuts. So if you measure that, the price dropped 75% last time and 65% this time. After that 75% drop last time, it went up 16x. What if this time we are going up 10x? Say, put that number here. You're barely testing the all-time high. But is it a small move from where you are right now? Is that still an opportunity, right? Depending on how you look at the market, you would argue, yeah, that is a good to great opportunity. Now, the strength in the market is what you should be caring more about. Is the market pushing that into the overbought territory? A lot of people say, sell the hill out of that asset when it's entering overbought territory. But if you actually look at things clearly, this is the entry into the overbought territory. So if you did short that asset here, what would happen? Boom, you're kicked out. Boom, you're kicked out. So you don't want to go that direction. Now, again, for XRP, MACD is starting to turn positive. MACD is starting to turn positive. And with that, we told, huh, I would like to see a drop. I would like to see a drop. I would like to see a drop. This is what we discussed. Now, that's exactly what we are watching. Recent past plays out way more than last 5-10 years of history. 
Yes, on the macro chart, that matters a lot, the history of the macro. But the micro, you need to focus on the recent price action to understand the algorithms trading against you, to understand the human beings across the globe trading against you. So here we go. We pick Ether. We are zooming in. We go on a photo chart. We are trying to look at this. And it shows I'm at the overbought territory. Mm, interesting. Where are we at the 12 hour? I'm in the overbought territory. Mm, really interesting. Daily shows I'm still in the overbought territory. Now, why is that important? You have minimum amount of sellers there. So even if you get 5%, 1% new buying power into the market, price take off. It just right to the next level. The moment that pushes a little bit higher and the three-day enters into the overbought region, look at what happened last time. The first entry was here when the price was 1800 The price kept going higher and higher and higher. So that's an easy signal for you to say, I'm going to ride this asset. Now, look at the MACD there. The MACD crossed to the upside. The MACD crossed to the upside. The MACD crossed to the upside. You kind of get to see if you buy during that range, even if there is micro volatility, you still make a very good ROI. 100% move, 200% move, 300% move. So the market is offering you all of this right now if you are willing to enter into them and take benefit of those. Understand the rules of the land of crypto is changing because when US just opens the floodgate, investors jump in before they were scared about one group of individuals. Now that's done. Regulation by enforcement is done. They are not going to screw more crypto companies. A lot of others who are already fighting them will be like, Phew. if this happened a year back, it would have been better. If this happened a couple of years back, it would have been even better. For XRP, we got screwed in 2020, man. That's sad. We went through the hardship. But that led to that war with SEC, which just brought in these clarity. With this, when you look at the market, you also have to look at the dollar to understand what it is doing. We wanted to see this break lower, but it's not happening right now. It's bouncing back. What does that mean? If you watch this, I would argue this goes back up here, retest that range, come back down. This is what I'm looking for. Maybe I'm wrong. Fine. But till this point, we have been right. So if that's true, next 12 days, dollar will signal you I'm going down and maybe a little bit of bounce from there a week or two and then to the downside. So another 30 days. So say by 40, 45 days, what if dollar is dropping crazy? What if Bitcoin is retesting this moving average and bouncing off like crazy. So while dollar goes up, crypto drop. While dollar goes down, crypto pops. Join that party. Use the scientific investor family to get all the opportunities, the breakout calls, my trades, everything. We are positioning ourselves well enough in different trades right now. So if you want to get those, use the link in the description and ride the next few months to the upside with the Scientific Investor family. So guys, if you haven't smashed that like button yet, consider doing that. I'll meet you on the next video. Bye for now.